Hey there everyone, this is Atesh and welcome back out here. So what we are doing out here? We are learning iOS development, especially on the iOS 10, Swift 3 and Xcode 8. By the way, there is an update in the Xcode 8, but nothing that we cannot handle. Just a minor bug issues and a couple of things that are missing out there. So we're going to talk about that. But we are into the section where we are trying to tackle uh, down the Firebase out there. Now, believe me, after completing this particular app, you will never ever face any problem in the Firebase. You, you will not need any other courses or any other tutorials. You will be looking into the documentation and will be solving your problem by your own or by taking help on the Stack Overflow. That's promise out there. And we all know, I always keep my promises. So what we're gonna do. Now, uh, first, first of all, I'm gonna walk you through with the uh, app and you might be seeing what this iPad is doing out there because I'm gonna go and go through a walkthrough out there and we'll be designing an app first of all here and uh, we have already discussed how the app is designed first of all it's always on a piece of paper then it's into the sketch or somewhat like photoshop or other softwares like that then we move it on to the applications like envision uh, try to test it out how it looks on a real device and then finally we move on to the ui storyboard of the xcode and then finally write the code so this is always and always a process for the app whether it's a viral app like pokemon go or a, a jpg app uh, which doesn't even exist so it's always the same process okay so it's gonna be really fun let me walk you through how complex this is app, this app is and believe me if you'll walk through with me along with me code along with me in for this app and once again code uh, this app without me uh, just by yourself you will be completely master of the Firebase and Xcode development out there, okay? So with this, now let's go out there. So we have already des designed a complex system out there. Uh, it's a complex login system, which requires a unique uh, sign-in system out there. And uh, by the way, the app we are designing is for the James Bond. Uh, I was just thinking if there would be an app for James Bond, how would it would be going out there? Let's just say James Bond approached me I wish but uh, how would that be going out there how could I have designed the app for for the entire mi6 out there for James Bond so this is gonna be fun and let's just go through with that so first of all uh, we have already did this uh, if you are not in the course check out the description so what we did out there we uh, we have gone ahead into the complex app first of all here in this section out there and we just gone through with two buttons uh, the sign up and the login if the user actually signs up, we will make an entry into the database or the Firebase email and password. Then the next, the user is uh, user will be able to choose a unique username for it. And uh, then if he taps on the next, then he goes on to the success screen. Okay, this is the success screen that we have here. That's good. And let's just say user terminates the app at this point, uh, at this point out there and goes back. Then if he tries to sign up again, we will be prompting a user a message that you are already signed in. So you must uh, log in out there. So we have already done that. And then the user actually logs in. Then we have two ways out there because user can be smart out there. Users are pretty much smart, always and always smart out there. So if there is no username, we'll be redirecting it to this segue, which is this guy, the star ones and we'll be saying that hey you know what you have to choose a username first and once the username is done uh, then only we'll allow it to the success screen we have also talked a little bit about the data models out there yes i haven't talked about the mvc or the data models out there yet but uh, in this app i'm going to be talk ab talking about that now you might be thinking why i haven't talked about it because simply for the app that we have designed so far, it would be really overkill to talk about the model view controllers. Yes, model view controller is a great way of uh, uh, kind of arranging your apps. It's always required. But if you're designing an app that just uses a camera and using a model view controller for that, it would be really overkill. So I always say things are great like stack views and uh, constraints, but if you'll use it at a wrong time, it would be always and always overkill. So uh, if you have just one or two uh, controllers, there's no need for model view controller out there. But if your app is a little bit more complex, always go through with that. It's always mandatory. Okay, then we moved on to the Firebase database, like uh, what could be the model for my users and what could be my model for the username. So user, uh, there we did out there and for the username we did out that. So that's pretty much easy. Okay, now I'll move on to the second screen out there and uh, we'll first uh, look out how we are going to tackle this app, uh, app for the James Bond. I'm really excited for that. Okay, so I'm going to be say, I'm going to be simply saying that hey, you know what? Uh, this is going to be my login screen, and uh, this is going to be my complete uh, uh, this process that we have already done. Uh, uh, I won't be repeating that process because 
you know, it would be a uh, time waste for you because uh, you have already learned that thing. Uh, you can rewatch the movies anytime and you can just reach on to this success page anytime that you want. Okay, so I'll be just calling this as simply uh, sign up, uh, sign up and in as well because I'll be just having a simple one button that will be able to sign up and sign in the user. Uh, trying to reduce the complexity of the app because it's already a very complex app, okay? So this is gonna be my first James Bond screen out there. I'll be writing James Bond for that. That's good. Okay, now once we have done that, we would like to move on to the next screen, okay? So this is gonna be the screen uh, where James Bond can actually uh, select the missions out there. So let's just say some higher authorities are gonna send some missions to the James Bond. So let's just say, uh, this is going to be my screen out there. Uh, this is going to be the top of that and uh, I'll be having an L, uh, LM message that's going to be leave MI6 out there. So this is going to be the kind of a logout out there or sign out out there. So this is going to be the leave uh, MI6 uh, button out there. And then we have going to be a send mission as well because let's just say James Bond is busy with some heavy missions. He needs some sidekicks and uh, he can just transfer some missions out there as well. So that's going to be one. He can uh, design his own mission and go can go out there. Okay. And this is going to be a simple table view. So I'm going to just uh, pretend that this is a simple table view out there. And this is going to be have a, a simple mission one, a mission two and mission three. Okay. That's good. Now let's just say James Bond has actually tabbed on to the send mission. Uh, I'll be working for that. So if he has tapped on the send mission, then what he be, what he'll be able to do is go out there. Now at the top, he will have a camera button. Uh, how to design a camera button? Okay, that's gonna look a little bit like camera. I know it's not a good drawing. My handwriting is pathetic, but let's just say you have to bear with me. Okay, so this is gonna be a camera button and uh, we all, all are aware of the camera functionality. We have taken that quite in detail. But by the way, if you don't like a camera button, you can add some uh, audio button as well here. And uh, we have already learned how we can add audio and we can pass on the audio to the Firebase as well. But right now, let's just stick to the basics and we're gonna have an image button out there. Once he actually does that, we will have a small out there. This is gonna be a, a secret or a confidential photo. So let's just say a secret photo. Ah, oh, I have to delete that, that's not good. Okay, so this is gonna be a secret photo. Uh, this is gonna be a confidential document about that and this is gonna be uh, supported uh, by uh, a description of the mission out there. So this is gonna be the mission details. So MD for mission detail. I'm using a lot of shortcut, but believe me, I'll remember all of them. And then there will be a button for uh, simply choose agent, okay? So there he can choose the agents out there. This is gonna be really, really fun because all the users who will be signed up in this app will be shown up. So once he click on the choose agent, then we'll move on to the next phase out there. And here we will have a simple uh, table view, let's just say. And here we'll have many agents who are already signed up into the app. So this is gonna be agent one. And this is going to be, let's just say, Agent 2. I know this is a terrible handwriting, but believe in me, I will walk you through with that into a much, much better situation. I'm already aware of that. So that's good. Okay, what else we are going to be doing? Let's just say there is a mission out there. And this is going to be a list for the James Bond mission itself. And when he selects on one particular row, let's just say I'm going to be selecting row 3. So once he select on the row three, then we'll be moving on to another screen out there. And this is gonna be the screen that looks like this. What will be there in this screen? So first of all, there will be the secret uh, photo out there, the SP, which is being selected by someone or uh, maybe uh, sent, by, sent to James Bond, let's just say. Okay, and then we'll have a MD here, which is gonna be a mission description. So that's gonna be a text out there. Then we'll have a two buttons for the James Bond. That is uh, accept the mission out there and deny the mission out there, AMDM. Okay, that's nice. And <laughs> that's gonna be fun. Now, if the James Bond actually selects, uh, he wants to deny the mission, we have to delete a lot of things out here. So delete a photo, uh, text 
and pop back to the main. Uh, I'll call this as root view controller. So this is gonna be my root. And we have to actually pop to root. Okay, that's nice. Now, if in case he he actually choose that he'll he's gonna do this mission. So we'll tack on if he taps on the accept mission, then we'll move back on to another screen. And on this screen, you might have watched those movies out there where uh, anybody can actually looks from the top of the view from the satellite to the James Bond. So we are gonna get a location of our James Bond. So location of bond, okay. And uh, whatever the location of the device is, we'll be actually zooming on to that device and we'll be able to locate that. So a lot of things that we have to do. I know this is quite a complicated app if we look through onto a complete scenario, but yes, uh, this is kind of a thing which is common out there. I'll, uh, when the designers are out there, they design that onto the glass out there. And uh, if you'll work onto the companies out there, this is common scenario where everybody just uh, kind of a, um, kind of a things which where we discuss a lot of things and just get on to that. So I hope everything is clear to you. And we're going to be doing that from the next movie. And by the way, if I want to show you one more thing out there, and that is I have actually designed just one graphic for that I was trying to design the things out there. And if you're already into the course, you know how to design these. By the way, I'll be giving you this file as well sketch file. And this is going to be the secret uh, spy logo out there. Uh, the text field for the email and the password and get action means he's going to get some action out there. Uh, this is good. This is the background which we'll be using for all of our views out there. I don't want to make the complications with the graphics. We have already done quite a lot with that in the section. And by the way, this is uh, uh, this is a pattern out there. It was a simple text, but I have actually converted it into uh, the paths out there and I have edit a little bit onto the S out there. I didn't like the default S, so I have made it a little bit sharp out there. Okay, so I think this is a good point to get started out there. I, I'm, I'm really hoping that you're gonna like this app. This is gonna be so much fun. And by the way, if you have if you haven't yet enrolled in the class, there's a fantastic class out there, which, which is getting all five-star reviews. I'm really excited for that. And go ahead, there is a description, there is a link in the description which will give you a highest amount of discount out there. So check out on there and in case you haven't yet subscribed onto your YouTube channel, go ahead, do the subscribe. I'm doing a lot of videos nowadays, so uh, videos every single week and in fact at least two videos. So like the videos, subscribe the channel and let's move on to the course and talk about how we can tackle this app. So let's go there.